what do I want to say here? Yeah. Hi, Nima. It's Thursday, February 23rd, 2012, and you are watching The Four of Us. Sorry about the mess. Why don't you pound snow, doll? Gotta keep a low profile. They'll be watching The Four of Us. You didn't want B.I., you want some pastry to pin it on. For today's video, I'm going to have a Cat Speaks Art moment. I can't see. And I have two noses. Now, when I was tutoring the other day, the professor who teaches the class that I tutor for asked his students to define the word literature. 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 He circulated the room and asked each of the students what they would consider literature. And me, being the smart tutor that I am, responded with, well, if enough professors tell me to read it, and I have to write enough analytical papers on it, then it's probably literature. I am an awesome tutor. The end. But in all seriousness, what I really consider literature to be is the written form of a painting, or a photograph, or a sculpture, or any other form of visual art. You could even compare it to dance or music. The purpose of literature is to conjure some emotion from the audience. And the audience has the deciding factor. Each individual who reads the work of literature is able to decide whether or not they like it. Now, the difference between literature and other written works is that literature is like any painting or sculpture. It's open for interpretation. You wouldn't read a book on US history and think, I wonder what the author meant when he said that George Washington was the first president of the United States. Could it be in reference to the lack of emotional closure he felt when his childhood goldfish died and his mother flushed down the toilet before he had a chance to give it a proper funeral? Nobody reads history books like that. And for anyone who does, what's wrong with you? With literature, you can write about one thing, but actually be writing about a completely different topic. Take The Crucible by Arthur Miller, for example. Uh, the play. Not the one with Daniel Day-Lewis as like a sexy farmhand and Winona Ryder as like an evil seductress. On face value alone, this play is about the Salem witch trials. What was Arthur Miller really writing about? The Red Scare. With literature, you can do that. I mean, interpretations of literature can get pretty silly sometimes. South Park has already made fun of it. In other news, I am taking a class that is kind of out of my area of expertise. It's on artificial intelligence. Awesome. And recently we had to read this book called BioArt and the Vitality of Media by Robert Mitchell. I read the entire book from cover to cover. Well, like I didn't actually read the acknowledgments or the glossary or the index, but nobody reads that. And I still feel like I have a very vague understanding of what is bio art. So instead of doing all this hard work and like studying bio art and stuff, I'm going to take the easy route and challenge the professor. Professor, this seems like the type of subject that you would get really excited about. And so I'm going to challenge you to make your next video on bio art or, you know, some video in the future. It doesn't necessarily have to be the next one. I'll give you some time to work on it because from what I understood about it, it seems pretty cool. So I'd like to understand it better. In the video, feel free to offer examples or further reading material for me to look up. Just do all the legwork in the process of me understanding bio art, basically, is the challenge. All right, that is all for today. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Lily. B, I will see you on Tuesday.